Well, it's one of those videos. So, something happened. And it was something that um, I'm not too surprised at. Um, but I am surprised that um, I'm more surprised at myself for thinking otherwise. Um, the state of role play in Second Life has been questionable, <laughs> to say the least, and for a very long time. And, um, There is never really any true guarantee that anyone, uh, regardless of uh, RP skill or experience, is able to separate their out-of-character emotions, reactions, and feelings between their character in character it's called the blurring of the lines and because we're all humans and we are emotional creatures and we are social creatures the two battle frequently <laughs> in role play. Now there are many different reasons why people do role play. Um, there's therapeutic reasons, artistic reasons, uh, creative reasons. There's a whole slew of reasons. The good reasons and the bad reasons. I recently joined this role play. It, quite unexpected, mind you. I was looking through search, wanting different places to, you know, check out, and uh, read the description and like oh yeah I'm 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 familiar you know with the basis of of, of that concept yeah you know I, I have experience in that so I went to visit the sim but I didn't have any intention of expecting anyone there because most of the times when I do go out and explore other sims in Second Life they're dead and nobody's there so I could just look around and you know look how many Prim something is or how something was made or you know take pictures or you know do my whole solitaire thing well that wasn't the case in this is instance when I went to this RP and I was just in my normal clothes jeans and a t-shirt and some chucks yeah with with skull roses on them I think am I wearing those Anyway, very plain looking. Um, and um, yeah, I was, uh, there was some people there and I was just going to look around and observe and stuff. And I got an IM and it was a very nice IM, you know, um, asking me if I role played and I was like well I haven't in a while and then you know invite me to play and I'm like well okay and you know it, it, it's a it's a free form it's it's a free form RP which uh, I think is the best kind organically writing with other people to create a beautiful story 
that's not scripted nor pre-planned. It's just ah uh, ah uh, to be able to engage with people on that type of detailed creative level oh wow and then being able to develop your character with a background story and traits and weaknesses and strengths and you know and, and, and be able to use it as a background well as a testing ground to try things that you normally wouldn't be able to do with your physical world persona and 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 in that sense yeah it's it's highly therapeutic um there have been times when i have just role played by myself that's right i just role play by my story and i have written a lot of fantastic um uh worlds and and um characters that way the dialogues i really love dialogues um and uh descriptive emotives and action um to be able to you know either type or pick up a pencil and use it as an artist to use a paintbrush but with words ah uh, uh, it is really really it is an escape um, therapeutic refreshing relaxing all 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 the all the goodies all the good stuff is just ah uh, it checks a lot of personal boxes that I have anyway well back in the day about what I don't know please almost 20 years now yeah 20 years ago when I first started RPN oh yeah on the talkers yeah this this was in the late 90s well no mid 90s actually yeah and uh you know there weren't any graphics you had ascii art and uh yeah any <laughs> where words were all you had you didn't have graphics and and um or, or mesh or uh this technical stuff that a lot of virtual worlds and game and engines have you know um and back then there wasn't any social media you had email and it wasn't even like outlook it was it was um yeah so if you had unix which i did you know there, there was an email program and um it was called pine i know my accent is is a twanger so I'll spell it P I N E pine, you know, like a pine tree. That was the email client that I had way back in the day. And yeah, no graphics, just words on a black screen. So when I used a Vax terminal, that's right, old fashioned Vax terminal. My words are green. But the screen was still black anyway everything was centered in one place everything was in one place you had the place where you socialized and rp'd and then you had your email client and 
you know, later on, then, then there was um, AOL and Yahoo and ICQ, you know, and those type of instant messengers. Now, also back in the day, there was IRC, which I also RP'd on as well. And well, IRC is IRC, you know, Internet Relay Chat. Um, and yeah, that still goes, but now it's got a different uh, stigma attached to it. But let's not get into that. And, you know, of course, as with everything, the the RP community change, changes. You know, there's all these social platforms now. If you RP in Second Life, then, yep, that usually means they got a Discord server. They got a Flickr account. They've got a Twitter account. They've got a Facebook page. They've got Instagram. And that absolutely just turns me off. Because they tell you that, oh, well, you don't have to join these, our social media to still be in the RP. But you'll be left out of the know of a lot of things. Now, back in the day in SL, people would just use note cards and groups. You've got your RP group, and you've got your group notices. And if you wanted to get something down, a message to get across to someone who wasn't online, or to extend an RP, or what have you, you would oh yeah sorry ha <laughs> ha you would totally do it on a note card i mean there was even this thing where oh god more note cards all i do is read note cards it seems like i'm reading more note Sorry, it seems like I'm reading more note cards than I am actually RPing. And that was, that became a big joke in the RP community back in the day in SL. I still have quite a few of those note cards. You know, those, the sentimental RP exchanges, the encounters that meant something to you. You keep? Yeah, I got a whole storage storage print box full of those. But everything was in one place. Now, lots of things in relation to one thing is in several places. Which brings me to what happened today. So, with this RP... They have a Discord, they have a Flickr, and they have a Facebook page, and they even have their own websites. Now, I have learned from previous experiences to stay away from any RP, from any role-playing websites connected to Second Life. Yeah. But... Uh, with the Discord, I don't really do Discord. I mean, I have it, and I've done it, but I'm not, like, a Discordian. So, I thought, well, okay, um, I will give joining this Discord a go, because, you know, I would like to work on my, uh, social skills, um, without having to be my character, you know, to work on my social skills in an out-of-character setting with other people that have a common interest, which would be this RP sim. And 
at first it was like, oh yeah, this is great, you know, um, chatting back and forth. People would do their shit posting, which I've never been a fan of. I just think it's tacky and lowbrow, and I just, uh, I know how that might make me sound, but I don't, I don't care. That's just how it is for me. And, uh, you know, it's just like, uh, you know, but there was, I mean, from the interaction between the characters in the role play, started out of character engagement in the Discord and also in IMs in Second Life. And for me, uh, I like that to, to build a, a, to share a world, a fantasy world or a created world in character with other characters. I really enjoy that creatively. It's a great outlet for me. Because often my head is filled with all this stuff and I, I need an outlet. As for me, out of characterly, as the person that I am, which isn't far different from a character, honest, the different traits, but I digress. Um, just to be able to be inclusive, because I'm a very inclusive person, I will go out of my way to be inclusive, to share with other people that have the same interests as I do. It, it, it's like the whole mother hen effect, because I've been isolated for half of my adult life. I've been in different living situations where I wasn't able to be inclusive or I wasn't able to express my my own thoughts or feelings. And when I did, it would it would be absolute hell. And that's not a healthy place to be in. And that is not something that I want to continue to live in the, in the same mindset going forward with my life. So any opportunity where I get joy, sincere joy from interacting and engaging with other human beings either it, it well it it adds just a little piece of normality to my life and I cherish that. I mean, I think it's absolutely wonderful if someone really wants to talk with me, not to me, but with me. There's a difference there. I value that. I value that. And so. I had created a picture of my character on the SRP sim. And I thought because it was relating to RP that, you know, I would post this picture into the main chat of this Discord server. Uh, well, of their Discord server. Because other people, you know, would post stuff mainly shit posting. And I thought, well, you know, 
we all, you know, have the RP in common and, you know, I, this is how, how I've created my character and this backdrop is on the RP sim. So I've shared my little picture in the discord. Well, that was the wrong thing to do. So the person who owns the Discord, owns the RP, owns the Sim, you know, the, the big admin, I am God person. Well, what they do is they add a reaction to my picture, which is a black heart. And below that, they only add a link to their Flickr. And that's it. No, no additional wording at all. I looked at that and my heart sank. It sank. I felt that. I, I just felt I. I I can't even really go into more detail on that. I mean, my heart sank and I felt like shit. I thought that I was doing a positive thing and being inclusive. You know, stepping out of my comfort zone to, hey, you know. But, well, no, I, I I was wrong. So I went to my settings on Discord. I thought, right, I'm gonna minimum minimum not. I'm going to decrease uh the things that I see on here. You know, so I turned off the ability to, you know, have GIFs and pictures and videos show up automatically. I turned off the ability for other members of the same server to contact me. Actually, I turned off the ability to message me directly in any regard. And... It was just this defensive wall that I was like, oh, God, you know. And then when I realized what I was doing, I was like, what is the point? I just left the server. I just left the server and I logged out of Discord. And I was like, yep. All righty. Yep. Okay. So later on, I... I'm in SL and I'm piddling around. Yeah, I was going through my inventory. And I get a I get an IM from someone from the RP. And they wanted to know what happened on the Discord. And I'm like, oh, I just left the server. And then, you know, more words happened and I replied. And I mean it wasn't a it it wasn't it it was it was a good conversation because I like this person and this person likes me. We've had some good RP together and you know it, it there's there's like uh, there's like some some good vibes there on both ends. And then I get this other I am from another person who is from the from from the RP. And they wanted to know what happened. Uh, that they were, and I was just like, oh my God. And I, uh, yeah, I just kind of lost it. I felt bombarded and trapped in. And like, you know, I told the first person, I don't want to have to keep telling this, what happened and explaining myself over and over. So they tell the other person that they were going to handle it, and you know, which is fine. The 
the person that responded to my picture, well, that's that's the God person, right? They there there was no personal interaction with them. I do know this person from another RP a while back, and I had them on block. And I totally forgot about this person until I came to this RP and I saw that I had him blocked. And then I saw that, oh, it's his RP and his sim. I'm like, oh, but I put all that aside and I thought I'll just unblock him. And there you go. I don't think he remembered me. But how he handled a picture that was supposed to go on the Flickr instead of, of, of an RP-related picture that was supposed to go on the Flickr, but instead was posted in the RP Discord. That, <clears throat> that reminded me that, ah, uh, now I know why I had blocked this person. I do not have the time or or the or the or the want to to spread my own creativity that is inspired from a RP that I'm in in Second Life to all these other social media platforms. I don't even self-promote with Fever my own Second Life shop in World or on the in or on the marketplace. I don't even self-promote my own YouTube channel. So why am I going to promote <clears throat> somebody else's various amount of social media platforms with something that is personal to me but yet I want to share with others in one place I hope you followed that if you didn't I'm sorry but I'm not going to do a review now I will go out of my way for the things that I am passionate about. But I've only been at this RP for a couple of days. And after what transpired on the Discord today, I've lost my passion for this particular RP place. I mean, uh... I don't trust the management um it's like you go to the store with a complaint the sales clerk tells you oh well write down your name and i'll have customer service call you back instead of directing you or taking you to the store manager It's akin to what is happening in this, in the way, in this particular situation is uh, being handled. Because not the person, the owner, the God who 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 ah, who was the reason well um how can i explain this okay i'm a firm believer that if you fault someone 
or if you find out that you faulted someone or made someone feel uncomfortable or did something to a person that changes their perception or anything in a bad way then you are the only person that can fix that mistake that can fix that it's no one else's responsibility to do it for you like if you go to the store <laughs> with a broken toaster you can't be mad at the sales clerk because they didn't manufacture the broken toaster. Only the manufacturer can fix the problem. It's it's an analogy that I'm best using in, in, in this <clears throat> situation. Anyway, so I really needed to vent all that out because I needed to to, to think out loud and the person who with concern that had I in me didn't want me to leave the RP because they valued me as a good RPer and I am that's right I am I'm confident of that and whilst i simply left the discord server of this rp which i was told it is not a requirement to continue to our to continue to be in the rp and second life it does not encourage me that i can trust the managerial foundations and how the RP is is admin admin did it anyway because it brings us back to blurring the lines so That's all I wanted to say. <clears throat> and um, well, I think this is uh, fulfilled. I mean, this my little uh, mm. adventure uh, in this has fulfilled my uh, social level enough that. Um, it's time for me to hermit back I simply just don't have the uh, trust or the belief in myself to withstand any consequences of the mistakes that I may make regarding uh, sociability and it's difficult to make myself realize that most often other people have issues It's not for me to accept whatever <clears throat> wrongness that other people do ha that has a stem and something that I've done with goodwill or good intention. You know, it's this whole thing of uh, don't allow the bad behavior of other people to affect your good behavior. That's really hard to do. It just makes me 
two, five, and this is the month of August. This is a, a month filled with anniversaries, you know, uh, and it's a really struggling month for me, and I don't need any other uh, complications on my mental plate. So, that's all I wanted to say. Um, if you've learned anything at all, I hope you learned that if you're stronger than I am, then that's a good thing. Bye.